Hi, this is Dr. McClellan, uh, and you're watching Camille's Holistic Show, a place for women to help them overcome chronic conditions with a more holistic approach. So I wanted to talk about the four steps that you can take right now to help you take responsibility for your holistic health. And, you know, I just wanted to um, really honor women today. It's uh, a time right now where uh, there's just so much going on. And women are, you know, uh, there are a lot of challenges for us. Uh, there's a lot of oppression. There's a lot of um, things that we have to overcome in our business, uh, things that we have to overcome in our uh, positions uh, we tend to have to work much harder and um, it's it's a challenge especially if you're juggling uh, business you're juggling work and some are juggling juggling school so um, I just wanted to honor women especially women who have kids and they're just doing it all and they are also suffering with chronic conditions and it is also one of the most challenging things to overcome uh, today. And uh, when we all just, uh, when it's all just said and done, it's really uh, boils down to our self-worth. And a lot of times when we are suffering with chronic conditions, um, this is something that is such a challenge for women and I talk to women on a daily basis uh, and it is something that always comes up and uh, our conversations are confidential of course but in general I find that is something that is a, a challenge and it's a journey because we are we are on a journey we all are in life and our wellness and our health and wellness is also a, a journey that we're, we're, we're always on as well. So everything comes into play. And when, we, when it's all said and done, it's always important to just focus on our self-worth, our confidence. Um, this is something that is very hard uh, especially when uh, you're faced with having to take medications on uh, on a daily basis um, it's not sometimes working for you sometimes it does work for you the side effects are all also a challenge for you um, getting out of bed is a challenge for you. Dealing with chronic um, fatigue is another challenge for you. And also pain. Pain can also help be the worst nightmare when it comes to you know your emotional and your mental state of mind. All this said and done, it has to do a lot with our self-worth as time goes by chronic conditions as we know is a long-standing problem so with this we also are um, bombarded with having to to be faced with this and it is it's a tough one right it's a tough one to even um to even face and deal with and discuss uh, on a regular basis so when it's all said and done it's always important for us to focus on our self-worth and when I'm in a discussion with with uh, one of the women uh, and I love to do this is something that is um, a great thing for me I, I just love to take the time and even um, have a call with someone to get to know them um, before uh, we think about even working together to help them overcome some of their challenges. But it is uh, 
something that I always take note of and want to address is being grounded because many times when this is uh, going on in our lives, it is very hard to focus on all these things. Uh, we are also very anxious, very depressed. There's just so much going on, right? And you have to get out of bed. You just have to get out of bed. Um, we don't want to wallow. We don't want to fuss. You've got to face the, the, the day even though you have these struggles. So grounding, and it's easier said than done. Grounding ourselves regularly is something that is so important. And there's so many different ways to get grounded, right? Um, for me, I love to give examples about myself. Um, that way, it may be something that we, might interest you but I love to uh, when the weather is you know better of course uh, when it's not cold outside uh, I do love to uh, garden you know and getting my my hands into the warm the warmth of the soil and uh, connecting to you know mother earth that way um, growing flowers and growing herbs and cutting them and taking care of them. This is a, just a, a great example of, of being grounded. There's so many different ways, right? Reading a book next to the fireplace at winter, whichever. But it's so important to take that time out for yourself. A lot of people say, yes, I know, I know what you're talking about here, but are you really doing it? Is it, it's, are you really taking action to do this? So that's another way to get grounded, right? And um, there were times I just love to volunteer. I just loved oh, to volunteer. Uh, I used to do it in, um, college a lot and uh, out of college in medical school I used to do it and I couldn't wait to and I love to do it in hospitals I just couldn't wait to help um, in that kind of uh, atmosphere you know so that's another way of grounding because grounding can also be forgetting all your worries forgetting all your uh, problems and uh, being fixated on something and helping in a different way, Hel helping yourself in a different way, actually giving to someone else, giving love to someone um, in a different way. And that's what I used to, used to just love, uh, going into hospitals and, 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 and getting really acquainted with a lot of the patients. So that's another way of getting grounded too. Uh, there's just so many different ways. And um, these are two examples that I did and I still do uh, to help me stay focused on my journey because this is a journey, right? And uh, another way, this is the second um, step to help you take um responsibility for your holistic health and it's to take a unique stance in the world you know it's very it's a time now it's just so busy right we have it's just and i think a lot has had to do with technology we are just in a tech world and um there's so much noise um i mean have you seen uber uber comes in in a minute it's amazing how uber could come and pick you up and take you wherever you want to go just with your cell phone it's amazing but this is uh, an example of how our world has changed in 
you know, a matter of five years and even seven years. So I think it's really important to, because we, we get so lost with there's just so much going on that you, you, you could tend to actually lose your voice and you don't even realize it, right? Because if you walk outside tomorrow or you walk outside today, uh, people are talking a lot. They're talking on their phone. They're talking to this one. They're talking, this is just a lot of things going on. If you stop and you just think and you just listen, you would hear a lot of noise, right? So it's really important when you're going through chronic conditions to own your voice. And, you know, it's important to stand up for yourself. And this is something I... Um, want women to really um, own because this is something that I think is very, very important to stand up for yourself, um, not to be disrespected. Uh, this is something that I think is very important for women to know it's um, and to be aware of uh, in our daily life. I. I don't stand for that and you shouldn't stand for it either and this is something that can you know if you are not aware of you tend to lose your voice when you are in a state of pain a state of um, emotional pain a physical pain a mental pain spiritual pain you lose your voice and you don't even realize it you would never realize it or if you are not aware of it. So again, it's very important to own your voice. And simply by, you know, committing to take time for yourself self each day and stay in a quiet place, you know, and meditate in a quiet place. But it's also very important to own your voice. So another step, the third step that I think is very important is to stop the blame game. And stopping the blame game is one probably a most impactful way that I think that can help you um, be more responsible for your holistic health. It is um, important to completely let go of the past and the pain and open your heart. It's important to soften your heart um, and start forgiving. This is very hard. It's easy to say, I know, easy said than done. But it's important for us to try our best to forgive. Try our best to forgive. Because again, with healing, we cannot heal ourselves. Because it's a journey. Like I had said previously, cannot uh, forgive and wipe away all your transgressions and uh, resentment if we cannot open our heart. It, um, I've seen that often, um, and we've experienced this um, with our family members, our friends, uh, people that we know personally that have had uh, tough journeys in life. We all have had it, um, experiences that have knocked us on our feet and we just um, have closed our heart. Close your heart, become very, very bitter and before you know it, people don't recognize you. And uh, it's very hard to, to come back from that. 
So again, it's like very important to stop the blame game. Um, stop blaming your spouse, your partner, your siblings, your friends. It doesn't serve you, right? And in the long run, it will just go increase a lot of stress, a lot of stress on the body, a lot of inflammation, and just a vicious cycle where your chronic conditions will just never, never uh, improve. Okay. And lastly, the fourth way I think we can uh, help take responsibility for our holistic health is to use powerful intention with purpose and to take action and having a very clear understanding of your purse of your you know purpose is very 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 important in accomplishing your um, health goals very very important and it's m more important to help balance or to have a balanced approach um, because holistic approach is, um, is, is being able to help with that seesaw, you know, because we go, we go, we move uh, in life as a seesaw. Sometimes we go, we bend more to the left, sometimes we bend more to the right, but we want to stay more in the middle, right? So this is, that's basically in a nutshell, shell, holistic medicine. We want to try to keep us moving barely, you know, swinging to the left and barely swinging to the right. We want to stay a more holistic way, a more gentle approach to health and healing, gentle approach to wellness, okay? So having a clear vision every day uh, will help you set that intention to help you have better actions uh, in your health and wellness, um, whether it be visualizing, whether it be journaling, whether it be meditating, all these things come into play and it will help guide you to better uh, decisions, especially with your health and your wellness, because uh, the actions are what is going to help you have those outcomes. So really important when you are taking a look at let's say for example many people that uh, are on having a challenge in life sometimes they go from one uh, health professional to the next um, they might not have done a a, consult, a consultation or a couple of sessions and they're already looking for another uh, doctor or holistic practitioner or some other practitioner to help them with something else. When you are taking um, in, you know, having powerful intent and, and creating um, purpose and taking those actions, those actions will actually be beneficial if you are, you know, um, having a more grounded approach. Therefore, you have better, you're taking better actions, especially when it comes to your health and wellness. Okay, so those are the four steps that I wanted to discuss to take. Um, that can help you right now to take responsibility for your 
holistic health. And number one was own your self-worth. Number two is to take a unique stance in the world, okay? And owning your voice. It's very important, especially when you are challenged with health problems. Very important. And try not to, to, to do the blame game. Um, it's your responsibility, your health, and uh, it's important for you to take those actions and set those powerful intentions with purpose for better actions and taking actions daily when it comes to improving your chronic conditions. Okay, so thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys another time on Camille's Holistic Show. Thanks so much. Bye now.